Hello everyone. Today we are going to read about another subtopic of the mode of inheritance is that mitochondrial inheritance. So before going towards the mitochondrial mitochondrial inheritance topic, I want you to know that there is some DNA present in the mitochondria. It is the basic concept. So the mitochondrial DNA always transmitted by the mother. So if there is um if there is female and if there is male and there is some progeny then always the mitochondrial dna is from the mother only there is no expression of the mitochondrial dna uh, in the child by the father so the mitochondria mitochondrial dna always transfers from mothers to their child so we have to take in mind that um, whether the mitochondrial DNA is uh, diseased or not, it is always transmitted by the mothers or it is always transmitted by the females. So again, uh, so again, I'm going to repeat the mitochondrial inheritance. It is always transmitted only through mothers. So the affected females transmit disease to all the generation you can see in this pedigree chart is that there is the affected female and the male is not affected but uh, during after their marriage the child is one son and one daughter but both of them are affected because the mother is affected because mother always transfer the mitochondrial DNA to their progeny so both the child both the son and daughter are affected so when they marry to another person that is the affected female marries to non-affected male and the affected male marries to non-affected female then they will have their respected progenies but as we can see in this pedigree chart is that the progeny from the affected mother are all affected but the progeny from the affected father are not affected because the mitochondrial dna always transmitted through mothers only so that is the basic concept of the mitochondrial inheritance so another concept you should know is that the mitochondrial inheritance has variable expression in the population and within the family due to the heteroplasmy Another one important uh, topic you should know in this mitochondrial inheritance is the mitochondrial myopathies. So what are the mitochondrial myopathies? Mitochondrial myopathies are the rare disorder. Their presentation may be the myopathy, lactic acidosis and some form of the CNS diseases. We can also say one of the examples of the mitochondrial myopathies is Mellas syndrome. The Mellas syndrome includes mitochondrial encephalomyopathy, lactic acidosis, and stroke-like episode in the person. So why the mitochondrial myopathy occurred? It occurs secondary to failure in oxidative phosphorylation. So there is failure of in the oxidative phosphorylation, so mitochondrial myopathy occurred. So one important, um, one important thing you should know is that it also uh, it always come in the mcq it is important to know in the mcq is that when you do the muscle biopsy in the mitochondrial myopathies person you see the ragged red fibers so muscle biopsy the red red fiber as the specific lesion seen in the muscles so another you should know is another topic you should know is that labor hereditary optic neuropathy in this neuropathy what happens is that there is a cell death in the optic knob neurons after the cell death of the optic knob neurons what happens there is subacute bilateral vision loss in the teen or young adults so early so early bilateral vision loss that is not acute and that is not chronic that is subacute maybe because of due to the uh, some form of mitochondrial myopathies um, uh, that means there is some form of the mitochondrial inheritance disease is present that is labor hereditary optic neuropathy it occurs mainly 
in males. 90% of the affected uh, people are males and it is usually permanent. So this is the short description of the mitochondrial inheritance that you should know. You should know about this brief about the pedigree chart. You should know about the mitochondrial myopathies and you should know about the liver hereditary optic neuropathy. Thank you.